Hi, welcome to the testing world. In the current session, we are going to cover different element locator present in the Selenium. So, first we need to understand what is element locator. With the help of the element locator, we can locate or search an element uniquely on the page. So while working with the Selenium, in many cases or I'll say in all the test cases, first we need to identify the element and then we'll have to perform some action on the element. To search an element is the first priority, is the first task that we are going to perform in our automation. To search this element, the different techniques we are going to use and these techniques are called element locators. To uniquely uh, locate an element, we need to uh, go for the HTML, go in the HTML of the page and to view the HTML of any element, we need a small plugin of the Firefox. The name of the plugin is Firebug. Different type of element locators which are available, which we can use in Selenium is ID, name, class, link. CSS and XPath. We are going to cover all these element locators in detail. Firebug. As I told you, uh, we need to go to the HTML of the page to find out the unique property of any element. To view the HTML of any element, we need a small plugin of, plugin of the Firefox. The name of the plugin is Firebug. First, I'm going to show how to install plugin Firebug plugin on the Firefox. So go to the Google I'm writing here download Firebug. Add to Firefox and click on that. To install the Firefox that will be installed on Firefox browser, it will not install on my system. It's a 2.5 MB small software, it will take some time to install, depend on your internet speed. I'm going to click on the install button. Firebug installed successfully on my system. Once the firebug installed, you will check that this icon is shows over, over here. Means the fire, firebug installed successfully. Now I'm going to start work on the different element locators. So I'm starting a site, uh, facebook.com, and we are going to locate the different elements on this page. I'm starting the Selenium IDE but will not go for the recording. I'll just use this to highlight the element which will be located by the different element locators. I'm stopping the recording. Now I want to locate this element. So I'm just right clicking on the element, inspect element with the firebug and we are using first element locator that ID. So here we will check for this in for this email box developer set id is equal to email. I'm copying this, going to Selenium IDE. ID is equal to whatever the value we pick from the HTML. To uh, to verify that I'm setting the right value. Uh, I'm going to use this find button as I click on the find it will highlight the element if on click on the find button if it highlight the right element means we are using the correct element locator so that is our first ele element locator that is ID 
now I'm moving to the second element locator that is name to locate an element by the name again I'm going to the HTML finding out the name of the element so here we can check developer set name is equal to email for this particular text box so I'm picking this name I'm going to again slay name IDE name is equal to the value which I pick from the HTML again click on the find button we can see it highlights the uh, particular text box means it is working perfectly the third element locator which we can use is class so many cases we will find developer is setting some class value for the different elements so here is the value of the class i'm picking this value again going to the selenium ide and third element locator which i'm going to use is class class is equal to value which i pick from the html and then again click on the find button again it highlight means we are using correct element locators next element locator which i'm going to cover is link but link element locator can be used only with the hyperlinks so on this page i can check this is my hyperlink if you can find out the hyperlink directly that's okay if not we can view the html of the particular link i'm going to the html and html started with the a means that is my link it's a hyperlink once you get the link so we can use element locator id name and class but one more element locator present for only for the hyperlinks that are link to work with the link first copy the text which is written on the link we can do it by GUI or by the HTML I'm going to the HTML and copying the text fourth element locator which I'm using is the link so I'm setting link is equal to the value of the link again click on the find button and it highlights the correct element means we are using correct element locator so till the time we have covered four element locators is the id name class and link next element locator i'm moving to css As of now, we have covered these all basic element locators, moving to the next element locator, which is CSS. Under CSS, we can use four different techniques. We can locate an element with the tag and ID, tag and class, tag with any attribute, tag with class and attribute. So I'm moving to my web page again. Here I'm going to use the four different options that are available in that CSS. First, we'll have to check HTML. We have to understand the HTML. So I'm showing you HTML of any element. In the element, first we'll have to understand this input or from where the HTML is starting. This is called tag name. Means here in my case the tag is input I take some other example like this here the tag name is I so we can have the different tags on our HTML apart from it whenever we are going for the HT, any HTML tag we are going to get different attributes which are set by the developer this ID is equal to email class type tab index value these are the attributes now I'm moving to CSS in CSS we are going to use this tag and the attribute the first technique in the CSS is tag with ID so here the tag is input I'm setting input for the ID we are using hash and then I'll set the ID 
so I'm picking the ID value which is email I'll copy from there and paste it over here click on the point button and here we can see it highlight the correct element means now we have used the first technique of the CSS in which an element is located by the tag and ID second technique that we are going to use is tag with class so again the tag is the input and the class name is input text so I'm picking this class name whenever we are going for the tag with class I'm writing the tag first so input we are using the dot just to show that next part will be a class so when we are using the tag with class we need to write dot in between tag with input text as we click on the find button it highlights the correct element means we are working correctly third approach that we can use in CSS is tag with any attribute here we have the different attributes like ID is one of the attribute class type tab index and many more in my case I'm going to use the tab index so I'm going to here's selenium IDE input is my tag whenever we are going to use the attribute we are writing in the square brackets so I'm writing tab index is equal to and the value whenever you are writing the value it must be in single quotes so I mention over single quotes again find button and it highlight the correct element so we have covered three approaches in the CSS fourth approach which we are going to use is tag means my tag is the input class tag with class and any attribute so I'm using tag my class is input text you can check it over here and attribute is the tab index so we can use any attribute I'm using again using tab index tab index is equal to run click on the find button it is locating the correct element means we have located a element by the different approaches now we have covered four different approaches in the CSS These are the four approaches that we have covered in CSS. Now moving to the next part which is XPath. We can locate an element by using the XPath and we have different ways inside the XPath to locate an element. So I'm moving to my application again. Whenever we are writing the XPath, we can start it, uh, we need to start it by double slash even we can write it xpath is equal to but in case of xpath we need not to write this xpath is equal to just because whenever we are starting by the double slash it automatically understand that we are writing xpath so first technique of the xpath is tag with attribute so i'm going to locate this password box and i'm going to the html of this here the tag is input so I'm writing tag is input any attribute whenever we are writing the attribute is in the square bracket one of the attribute is ID so we can use this attribute so whenever we are writing any attribute in xpath we need to mention at the rate before it that's the syntax so at the rate ID is equal to value value is always placed in single quotes so I'm writing um, my XPath and then click on the find button. So it's highlight the correct element means the first technique of the XPath is done. Moving to the second technique in which we can use multiple attributes. So here I'm picking one more attribute is the type is equal to password. I pick this value going back again or we can use or and and. So in that case I'm using or and type is equal to password click on this again it highlight in case of the or either this or this at least one value must be correct I am changing this value I am you know I am setting it uh, I am setting an error value in the type 
and again click on that because one value is satisfied so it's working but if i use and means both the values must must be done must be satisfied i'm checking it find and it is showing some error because one of the value is incorrect so in case of the and both the values must be correct so i'm setting it to the correct value and p a double s w o r d i'm checking again and p a double s sorry uh here in right bracket is missing so click in again and you can check it is highlighting you can check it Lights. So means now we have used the two different techniques of the element locator in which two different techniques of the X path. First with one attribute, other with the multiple attributes. Third technique is that here I mention tag is input, but it might be possible that in my application this tag is continuously changing. So on the place of the input I can mention star. Star means any element on which ID is equal to this and password type is equal to this. So I click on the find button and it again highlights means I am locating the correct element. Apart from it, we can use star on the place of attributes. Again, it's going to work because now I'm going to search and any element with any attribute is equal to pass and any other attribute is equal to password as i click on the find button it highlights so these are the basic approaches that we can cover we can use while working with the selenium while locating an element xpath is you know it's a big topic so you can go to the other video that we have created especially for the xpath and in this particular video all the techniques all the possible techniques that we can use in xpath will be available so thanks for watching this video and if you want to know more about us you can go to the uh, to our website is the testingworld.com